Hey guys, welcome back to the Hunting Challenge. My name is John White. In today's video, I'm doing a comparison between the Phantom Saddle from Tethered Nation and the Method 2 Saddle from Latitude Outdoors. So the goal of this video is just to give you a background so we can put this battle of saddles to rest. It wasn't too long ago, it was last Friday, I got invited out to Todd Freeman, who on Instagram is UP Bow Hunter, uh, and he invited several other guys over and included in that group of folks was uh, Clint Campbell from Truth From The Stand podcast. If you're not familiar, get familiar. And then the other guy was uh, Greg Litzinger, uh, who goes by Bow Hunting Fiend on uh, Instagram as well. So. Uh, the interesting thing about Clint is that uh, his podcast, Truth From The Stand, is sponsored by Tethered. So Clint is going to be demoing um, the Tethered saddle uh, throughout this process. And Greg is pro staff with Latitude and he's going to be demoing the uh, Method 2 saddle from Latitude Outdoors. And I won't be getting in a saddle. I don't need to, I know if I got into one of these saddles, I'd probably be buying uh, one of them. I'm not going to say which one yet, uh, but we have two folks, uh, Steve and DJ, who are brand new to saddle hunting. Um, they have, they've never been in the saddle, so they're getting to listen to the expert, experts and test out um, each saddle, and that's what we're doing. Uh, we just had some rain where our hope was to shoot some bows and to uh, actually try out different climbing methods, but we have just enough time for these guys to do their demonstration, and that's what we're going to do. So as I roll some clips, I'm going to give you uh, some features and benefits uh, of these saddles, and by the end of this, you'll be able to make a decision, two decisions. One, is saddle hunting right for you? And number two, which hunting saddle should you buy? Hey guys, real quick message. I've decided to make a donation to Bow Hunters United on behalf of every new subscriber that subscribes to my channel in the next 30 days. Bow Hunters United is a national organization that strives to make a difference for current and future bow hunters. They advocate on your behalf, help conserve public lands, and invest in the next generation of bow hunters. If you're interested in becoming a member, go sign up at bowhuntersunited.com. The membership is only $25. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so right now, and at the end of the month, I'll be sure to add up to a dollar in donations on your behalf. Up first, we have Greg Litzinger with the Method 2 from Latitude. Now, the cost of the Latitude uh, Outdoors Method 2 saddle is $289. This saddle was manufactured, is manufactured in the USA, has a total weight of 31 ounces with a weight rating of 300 pounds. The top three features are, number one, has two panel flexibility which make it small and compact while hiking in but cover a large portion of the lower back and cups the seat with a wide net. The second feature is that it has a quick connect panel system. This simply means it's a two panel saddle that helps with easy adjustability and comfort on those all day sits. The number three feature for the Method 2 saddle is that it has metal free construction. This system offers a rope style belt that stays secure on your hike to the stand and because of the design, there is no need for buckles or metal hooks to loosen straps for comfort. And the number four, I'm doing a bonus here, the number four is that it has an adjustable bridge. Yeah, and like I said, and change the tether height, distance, length to find what works for you. Yeah. The only thing I didn't, the only thing that freaked me out was swinging all the way yeah. around. That yeah, and that, and that just comes with. What do you. The tree, gra you just gravity. Yeah, gravity wants to pull me yeah, around. Yeah, and that's the tree, might, there might be a slight, the tree might be slightly tilted this way a little bit. It is, it's, yeah. it's, bow, so it's it bowing is, out. Yeah. Yep. So you want to do is take this. And put this. Oh, over put it over to this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the top saying that. So, so, so slide that over to the right about three or four inches. There you go. But you would do that in your initial setup. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. right. Not because that's not even set up in the dark. I've set up and you sit yep. down there and you're like, Whoa. Whoa. Yep. Wait a minute. Yep. Gonna... yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, now you got your, your work and. I might have to switch to that pad that you have because yeah. the comfort for me, I'll wear near pa knee, knee pads and I'll just sit. Just like this, yeah, just like this, all day. Yeah, I grab that, thing. all day. Yeah. But I run, I run knee pads, which mm -hmm. they got. I mean, it's the soft, just slip over type knee pads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I like, I like the idea of the, the pad that. 
Oh, he's got a... He's got a pad, almost like the kind you sit on, you know, but he just uses it to, to wrap around the whole tree. Yep, yep. Yeah, I like it. Because I, I got to change my ways because I'm hunting down in Maryland. Yeah. And you got to hike into the swamp, like long, long ways. Yeah. And I don't want to be carrying a lot of weight. I was worried, you know, I'm, I ain't too, too young anymore, so... I was worried. I see all these guys doing this. I'm like, man, that's a young man's sport. But so what I did with this, I just, just oh, perfect. And then I did. Let me see that knot. Oh. It's a little plastic, dude. And then you set up to wherever you want. Like I actually, I'll, yeah. I'll put it through here first, and then I like and that. Then, oh yeah, that's yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. And what which one is this? This is Latitude. Latitude. Yeah, they're out of Michigan. That's a that's a two panel. And like you said, you can. I like it. Yeah, you like you can really, change really this. You can slide this up. Yep. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got it kind of tied off I, what I want, but you can adjust it. I like how that covers covers yeah, a lot yeah, of covers a lot of area. Right it's a back a band. Yeah. And you have a little. Yeah, yeah. Cup. Uh, it's, yeah, yeah, I'm like. Yeah. And then you find your you know, and throughout the day you change it, you know, and like I like this platform because I put my feet right here and put my. So up on a little bit of an angle. Like it? Yeah. Just take some pressure off. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's nice. Nice man. Next up we have Clint with his Phantom Saddle from Tethered. The cost of the Phantom Saddle is $250. So just a few dollars less than the other one. It too is also 31 ounces and it too has a weight rating up to 300 pounds. Phantom Saddle also has a waist rating from 28 inches to 40 inches. However, for the more fully figured folks, Tethered has a saddle called the Menace. The cool part about the Menace is that it's only about $190. The top three features for the Phantom Saddle are the comfort channels. With a simple one-hand adjustment, you can find comfort in an all-day set. If you need more back support, adjust it. If you picked out a leaning tree because it was so dark you couldn't tell and you need more comfort, adjust it. If you want more support in your lower butt area, just simply adjust it. The number two feature is that it has the patent pending utility bridge. Tether's patent pending utility bridge is constructed with Dynalite, which is pound for pound, the strongest fiber on the planet. So strong, but yet it floats. The main benefit to you is comfort. You can find your saddle sweet spot on the fly, and the best part is no metal to metal contact. The number third feature, and this is from my own personal experience, is customer service. Is this a feature? For me, 100% yes, and I am speaking from experience. Here's an example. On November 28th of last year, while in the saddle, I noticed some fraying on a portion of my saddle. At 10.53 a.m. East Coast time, I messaged, messaged Tether, and by 3.23 p.m. that same day, I had a response and assurance that all was good. For me, their customer service is second to none just in comparison with any company I've done business with, not just saddle companies. The bonus for me is that Tethered is a trailblazer within the industry. They have made saddle hunting popular and because of that, they have made hunting a lot more enjoyable and a lot more success successful for me. It's true, they are the, the Xerox of the copy world, right? There used to be people that say, go make a Xerox copy. It's not a Xerox copy, it's just go make a copy. They're the Kleenex of the tissue world. In my house, we don't say hand me a Kleenex, we say give me a tissue. Might be cheesy, but just to give you an analogy, that's tethered in my opinion. Yeah, I do. You do? You want light or what do you think? Yeah, I want, yeah. Yeah. So I want the extra large platform. I got straight edge sticks and I guess that that setup. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I'll, I'll just give you a code. You yeah. Want to site oh, okay. And you just put the code in. Awesome. See this mic. Yep. If you're interested in saddle hunting, just buy a saddle. I can appreciate the fact, and I do the same thing, that we want to line up everything and do a T-bar, see the pros and cons. But really, there's to me, there's no difference between these, these two saddles. And uh, if your decision comes down to saving a few dollars, go with the less expensive one. If it comes down to going with a more well-known company, go with that one. But whatever the case is, stop stalling, get into saddle hunting. You won't regret it. You know, as the night went on, we had conversations and um, Steve and DJ were sharing what, what they thought about it, just, just in casual conversations over beer, burgers, and my wife's amazing fully loaded baked potato salad. And I'm pretty certain uh, of two things. The first thing is we have two new saddle hunters. They will be in saddles come this fall. The second thing is 
Steve will most likely be going with a tethered saddle and DJ will most likely be going with a latitude saddle. You can't go wrong with either one of these. So in closing, one of the things I just need to say, I've already said, get a saddle. The other thing I need to say is, we as hunters need to um, do a better job of encouraging people to get out and hunt. And if that means using a crossbow, if that means using a compound bow, if it means using a shotgun, a muzzleloader, a rifle, a saddle, a climb on stand, a hang on stand, uh, whatever, just encourage them. There's so much crap going on on social media that it's sad to see, and maybe it's some fun, but some of them don't seem too fun. So I don't care what your friends say, if they're talking down on you because you're interested in a saddle, who cares? Let your success speak for itself. Buy a saddle. Until then, see y'all.